Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard no horse <laughs> Horses sing none of it. The folk music show, listening to, I don't know, this sounds like pop to me, guys, <laughs> with Groove Lily. That's okay with me. Pop, pop just stands for pop. popular. So if pop, we are, pop music. we I are love excited. Pop music. And uh, we're talking to Valerie Vigoda, who's had a very exciting career. Welcome Hi, to the show. Thank you very much. And you're the leader of the band, I guess, founding member. And this, this is exciting. You've toured the world with Cindy Lauper, Cher, Tina Turner, and Joe, Joe Jackson. That's quite a lineup of stars that you've appeared with. It was pretty exciting. I, uh, I was in Cindy Lauper's band on two tours and on Joe Jackson's 
line up for one. And it was two vastly different experiences, both of which I loved. And uh, I found them both very inspiring. And uh, now I'm happy to be back with my band. And how about Tina Turner? Was she exciting to work with? Yes, we were actually opening for her. Cindy Lauper was opening ah. for Tina Turner um, on a summer tour in 97. And uh, she was amazing. She's a firecracker. Absolutely. Perfect show every night. Full of energy. Amazing. Cool. So introduce us to your band. All right. On drum, we have Gene Lewin. <laughs> hey, Gene. How are you? Welcome Bobby. to the show. Nice to All right. Thanks for having us. The stripped down version of Groove Lake. Uh, this is Brendan Milburn. Hi, I'm Brendan Milburn. Hey, Brendan. Keyboard. How's it going? I'd like to show off my keyboard, if I may. All right. I painted this myself, and I think it's very lovely, although the green paint is beginning to fade a little bit. I, I got really cheap green paint as opposed to really nice purple paint, which has kind of stayed with me. Um, it's, <laughs> I hesitate to say this, Please but continue. the paint and uh, the work I did to mount this, this keyboard on my lap actually cost more than the keyboard itself. <laughs> but now it's an instrument as opposed to a toy, so. <laughs> I did not know that. Cool. Wow. Well, uh, we should say that in concert situations, you guys are a lot more elaborately equipped. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Full drum set, full keyboard. Well, sometimes we've been known to actually play with uh, guitar bass, full drum set, piano, organ, the works. Um, we played at the bottom line opening for Bo Diddley and his keyboardist had rented a Hammond B3 and oh, I don't right. own one, but I love to play them. Oh, yeah. Very Gee, that good. sounds like an honor to open for Bo. Totally. Was and that was great. fun, man. Yep. <clears throat> great. He actually played this. We went backstage and uh, he plays fiddle. No and, kidding. Yeah, and he was really intrigued by this instrument and uh, Tried it out. So it tell us about good. this instrument. It's very unusual, obviously. It's a six string mm -hmm. violin with frets, electrified. That's exactly it. It's a six string, which means it has two extra low strings, which makes it go almost as low as a cello. So I can get down here. That does sound rather cello like. Yeah, so it gives me a lot of range. And uh, the shape of it, the flying V shape, is the only thing I found that really lets me sing and play at the same time. And uh, it's very liberating. I also don't have to hold it up with my hands because it has this special harness system. Um, and it has frets too, which mostly serve as a visual aid because they're so short. They're not like guitar frets, they're just very, very small. Mm -hmm. And you play on top of them rather than behind them, <coughs> like a guitar player would normally do. But I love this. It's called a Viper, and it's made by Mark Wood, who's a wonderful innovator. And uh, he's kind of the Jimi Hendrix of the violin himself um, on Long Island. All right. Yeah. Well, let's hear some more music. I guess Brendan's going to sing the next one. Absolutely. That I am. Ready? You I talk certainly. About it? You want to just um, dive in? This one shows off the full features of the Yamaha Portatone series. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a lot of yellow, I believe, on this one. There is. There's a significant amount of yellow. Oh, quite a bit of yellow. So, yeah. so watch out for that. Don't try this at home. This is called "Looking Forward, Looking Back." Oh, uh, one, two, three, four. at your side another party you're lonely
some and a smile, you go back to your friends. Another venue, a show you continue. I keep the peace with my well chosen life. Nothing to equal now with the sequel. Where everybody's happy and nobody dies. Another thing, I'm straight up down, looking your eye, and that's all in my hand. Another day, you say that my lady, I'm full of anger, I don't understand the night. Too, and that's that's a real party on wheels, but not in the van. It's no. a party with a butt strap. Yes, party with butt strap. <laughs> He's strapped in. In case you didn't see, that could be misinterpreted. <laughs> it certainly could. We like it's to encourage that. Yeah. Yes. So uh, you guys have been accepted with open arms now by the folk community. The uh, Kerrville Festival honored you guys. Yeah. We're so excited. Yeah, we. We joined the Folk Alliance um, on the recommendation of some friends of ours, and we were a little afraid of it because we're really not folk in the traditional sense of the word. Not sure if you caught on. <laughs> <laughs> we're not really acoustic. And uh, so we did. We tried, we tried it. We went to the Folk Alliance conference, and we did a showcase there. And uh, it was in Kerrville, Texas. And Rod Kennedy was there, and he saw us, and he booked us on the spot for the main stage in Kerrville, which was so amazing, such a thrill to us and such an honor that, that it kind of changed our lives. That was in September, and since then, we've been making more and more contacts in that world, booking festivals and venues that we never really thought would welcome us, and they are, and it's just the best thing in the world. We love it. Because it's basically, although we're not exactly folk, we appeal to folk audiences because people really like to listen to music that has substance and music that, if we do say so ourselves, is you know, rather well written. Conversely, <laughs> we absolutely love people listening to us, which is so rare in the rock world. So we're writing more songs that have lyrical content that's worth paying attention to, and people pay attention to it, and they get it, and they come up afterwards, and they say, yeah, man, I got that. That was funny, or that was touching, or that was real. And that's the best feeling in the world. That is, it, you know, it helped me reconnect with why I'm doing this, and I'm not doing this to play in a smoky bar and sell beer. I'm doing this because of the reaction of people like Rod Kennedy who say, man, you touched me. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the bomb. Brendan, you said that much better than I did. <laughs> 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 exactly. Well, you're a songwriter's band, yeah. and you have a fiddle. 
How about it's that? folk well, music. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you for welcoming us, kind of sight unseen, also. My pleasure. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> give us another tune. Okay. Uh, this one is from our new album. Um, and oh. It, for, oh, that's it. There's our new album. Displayed proudly on the, on the well, overalls. Yes. While we're at it, let's <laughs> tell folks how to find your website. Okay. Um, oh, go ahead. www.groovelily.com, I'm guessing, because I, right. I can't see behind the camera there. Yes, that's exactly it. Spelled just like it is there. And uh, you can find information about how to procure this album. We sell it. Gene is uh, sales, and I'm I'm marketing. <laughs> You're and, shipping. Uh, I'm shipping. I'm the shipping department. They have, uh, I'm sure, information about uh, your appearances upcoming. Yes, GrooveLily.com is the hub of all information about GrooveLily. So, so please come and visit. Go anytime. visit. Please come and visit. And <laughs> this song is on the new album that you it just is. saw. This this is a song about uh, lightening up, not taking everything so seriously, which is sometimes hard. And uh, for the first time, we are starting to get some radio play, with, specifically with this song. And uh, we're very thrilled about that. This is All called right. Weight of the World. <clears throat>
right. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Cool. You make a really good audience, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're so close. Yeah. Uh, tell us about this Microsoft thing. You got this award. You were on a, a, a it, disc. Yeah. It, um, Microsoft has a charitable program called Equal Access. And they feature uh, a different musical artist every year as part of their benefit. They have a benefit concert, and they have um, CDs of the music of that artist that go out with uh, their virtual conference CD package. And what that is is a package of CDs teaching people who cannot attend their actual physical conferences how to use Microsoft products. So Got it. it's does that make sense? Yeah. It's a little convoluted, but. Uh, anyway, so in 1998, it was the Brian Setzer Orchestra. 1999, it was Santana. And in 2000, it was Groove Lily. All right. Yeah. So we're extremely excited about that. They, they made 50,000 compilation CDs of our music and distributed all of them uh, in conjunction with this Equal Access program. So we have a, the beginnings of a very nice relationship with Microsoft, which and is our, exciting. Our biggest selling album is one that... <coughs> We didn't make any money off of, but there's a lot of <laughs> copies of it out there. It's going to a good cause. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, not bad to follow in the footsteps of, of uh, Brian Setzer and Santana. <laughs> yeah, right? That's what we think. Yeah. Yeah. He he did some amazing, uh, get some amazing attention in the last year or so. Absolutely. Well deserved. Uh, yeah. What a player. Mm-hmm. Well. Absolutely. Give us another tune. We have about. What, about six minutes to go. Okay. Time flies when you're having fun. Indeed. All righty. Um, this one is called Sitting on the Fence, and it's about horses. And uh, it's available, it's singularly appropriate for this show, right? And uh, it's available uh, at our gigs as a free giveaway with all of our CDs. And on the web. And, and on, on, on the web. web. It's not about horses singing. It's about horses uh, doing other things that they do besides singing. Where's one? <laughs> Thank you.
to the end here. We forgot to talk about if there was a jam number. Can you tell me? Sure, you want to E? E? Like yeah. E sort of? Right song? I heard you're quite a harmonica just, player. Just happened to be in my pocket. Yeah. All righty then. Blast ahead. Thanks for coming on the show. Been Thank you so pleasure. much for having us. Yeah. Uh, this is called the odometer song. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> country I've never seen Spend all my money on gasoline 